There are three different types of sidewall material. The first one I'm showing you is a phenolic sidewall. This has been around in ski racing skis for many years. Newer is ABS in the sidewall. These are a little bit harder to clean in sand and a little gummier. Last, and one of the most difficult, is the cap ski. And it's really important to remove the material directly above the edge so the ski moves smoothly on the snow and always allows the file access to retuning on the side edge. This is an example of a cleaned, polished, sanded, flashed sidewall that's going to be fast and smooth on snow. This is what it looked like before it was done. We're going to take you from one side to the clean finish side to show you how to make the skis go as fast as possible when they're turned up on their edge. Let's take a more in-depth look at the sidewall tools. I mentioned that there's different types. The first one I'm showing you here has got a square cutting blade. The square cutting blade works really well when working on cap skis and some of the laminates. The most important thing with a square sidewall planer is that you line up the edge properly so that it's getting the pull back on the sidewall without pulling into the upper sidewall. The second tool I'm showing you here is a rounded blade. And this works very well on laminated skis. It works very well for pulling the upper layer of metal that sometimes is above the edge itself and setting the angle of the round blade properly and using two hands will once again be important to keep the tool from skipping on the ski. After we've used the sidewall tools, the Panzer is the best tool for blending the work you do with your sidewall planers with the sidewall itself. The Panzer is also used for cleaning up the top edge, which we always knock down in a way, so one, there's nothing rough to ever cut anybody's hands, and secondly, to allow your files when side filing to be free to set the deepest edge angle possible by cutting back the top. Using wet or dry 220 paper to sand the sidewall and blend it in is the best way to smooth out either an ABS or a phenolic sidewall. We typically do not sand the sidewalls on caps, which are typically more of a nylon-based material. I roll the paper around my roll pin, which is great for blending the transition between your sidewall plane and the actual flat part of the sidewall. The other tool you use for blending is that same 220 wet or dry paper around a flat file that's got square edges. I wrap it and this allows me to actually sand the flat side of the sidewall material. And Once again, this is best used on ABS and phenolic. You won't be sanding much on the sidewall of cap skis. After we've sanded, the next tool that will help clean it and blend it together, and this tool works exceptionally well on ABS, works okay on phenolic, and works okay on caps, is FiberTex or Scotch-Brite. You'll use that with your finger as the tool to guide it, set it in, and just clean up your sanding work. Last but not least is using some acetone. Acetone on ABS helps you to flash the material so it becomes incredibly smooth and fast. For phenolic, it just simply cleans it, and I wouldn't use it on a cap ski.